Hey, what's uh, going on? Uh, hey, babe. Uh, how was your day? I'm fine. Where's Julie Andrews? Um, do you think you could help me move this thing? It is so heavy. What are you doing? I am just doing a little cleaning and reorganizing now that the cat is gone. What did you do to Julie Andrews? Don't you think it just looks so much better in here? It's a lot less crowded. It's just, oh no. Oh God. Julie Andrews! Julie Andrews! Jules! I knew you were always jealous of our relationship! What are you talking about? Y'all, does this scene look familiar? <laughs> Cause it sure does to me. That's why I wrote my book, When Three's a Crowd, How to Stand Out from the Competition. With my book, any problem can become a no problem. Ni hao. What? Mei Ling said this was the best way for us to learn Chinese. Her name is Charlotte. She comes from Kansas City, and why would we want to learn Chinese? Listen, I think we should go to Connecticut this weekend and go apple picking with my parents. Mei Ling said... Charlotte! Well, Mei Ling said that there's this great dim sum restaurant that we should try in Chinatown. All right, you hate dim sum. The grease always makes you gassy. You complain that the portions are too small. And what about Connecticut? Well, great things really do come in, in small packages. I think I'm going to try the Bowser. Honestly? Honestly, that's why I wrote my next book, Now You See Me, How to Assert Yourself and Eliminate the Competition. With this book, I have easy solutions to everyday problems. That's not Julie Andrews. No, no. Nothing is ever good enough for you. You are so obsessed with that damn cat! I mean, I could have skinned her and made her into a bikini, and you still wouldn't pay attention to my pussy. Could you say that? Why did you skin Julie Andrews? Oh, God. Crazy. Really? My heart has been ripped from my chest and wanders the streets, cold and alone. Solved. That's why I wrote my latest book, Now You Don't. When all else fails, obliterate them all. With my book, any problem can look small. And then we moved from Kansas City to Topeka. Topeka? Is that near Beijing? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that joke before. Actually, my parents are third generation cattle farmers in Kansas. We sell beef for high end restaurants. Oh, like Panda Express. There's one thing I've always wondered how do you plow a rice paddy? Oh my god, there are no rice paddies in the Bible Belt, and, and this is a bookstore, not a brothel, and her name is Charlotte. I can make lo mein from scratch. I have a yellow belt in karate, and I am a master of the Chinese finger trap. And I can say, where is the U.S. Embassy in five Asian languages? Aya! <sighs> Cash or credit? <laughs> well, I take both. So call today to get your copies of When Three's a Crowd, now you see me, and now you don't. Today.